For the demonstration that we're going to do to, today on the Hosfeld bender, we're going to make a uh, bend with a 180 degree pipe die with a bolt on back block. For some of our larger radiuses, we, uh, there's, there's not a hole drilled back far enough, so we have to bolt a block right to the oscillating block. And here's how we do that. Uh, what we have here is, uh, as you can see, it's a regular three-piece die set, just like, uh, just like one that would have the, the three-quarter hole drilled in it. But for the, in this case, we use a bolt-on back block, which is a uh, block with a hole drilled and tapped for a 5 8 bolt. And what we do is we're going to bolt that to the oscillating block here. You can see the oscillating block, it has a flat side. We take the back block, which is marked top, and just insert it, insert the bolt through the hole of the oscillating block, screw it on there, tighten her down, finger tight. grab a piece of the tube pipe that we bend. We're going to be bending inch and a half pipe to a six inch radius here. So we just pull that around, lock it up a little bit. And here's about the only, here's the only time, one of the only times that you have to use a wrench. You just have to put a little snug on your, on the board and snug it up. Now things are lined up. Cool. Then we'll talk again about greasing your draw block. You can never use enough grease. Always grease the moving part. This is the moving part. You grease it up real good. It'll keep your tube from, from heating up and galling your, your pipe. So we'll grease that up. And we're going to be doing, the, we're going to be doing this hydraulically. So I'll show you how easy it is to hook up the hydraulic. So what we do is we take our pipe and stick it in between the back block and the draw block. Give her a turn, tighten her up. Draw block goes in, it says top seven, so we're going to use the seven three quarter hole. One, two, five, six, seven. See? Finger free fit, that pin spins around. That's how all your dies should go together. Okay, then what we do to hook up the hydraulic, all we do is line up the cylinder hole, insert this pin, and that goes in. That's a finger, finger fit too. That's how they should all go together. So now, nothing left to do but bend. Turn the hydraulic on. Extend the cylinder. You can see it's pushing it right around. Push it right around. You can see that it moves it right around. Hardly any effort. Pipe out, and there you go. There's an inch and a half pipe by six bend on the hot bend.